Hey world, what's going on everybody? So uh, I just want to give you a quick little update. Been working my butt off. It's been crazy. It's been awesome. Tired as normal. That's me. But anyway, I want to show you a little update here what I've been doing with uh, the uh, EPG system, um, electrical particle generator, and uh, the uh, rustic spiro cell. I got it encapsulated. Encapsulated? Anyway, let's get started. So uh, here is the um, EPG plastic on a plastic spool. Um, this is, I showed you last time, um, PEX. This ain't even marked. But anyway, it's PEX, three quarter inch. And, um, I got these two on there you saw last time. And these two on here now, and the real fine wire versus that real thick stuff. As you can see, my camera will focus. You can see how fine it is compared to this wire. See how big it is. But uh, this is like either 18 or 20 gauge. And um, this is either 26 or even uh, even smaller maybe. 26, 24, something like that. Actually, I think it's smaller. But this is copper. This is aluminum. This is aluminum. No, I'm sorry. This is copper. Or is it? I can't tell anymore. One of these is copper, one of these is aluminum. And I'm going to test, you know, each individually, each one of these. As well as um, the way Stan has his set up, like, individual coils. This was just going to give me an idea of what I need to try and, and you know, what's not going to work. Um, I plan on getting some other pipe to make the uh, spark gap part of this experiment. Um, at the moment, uh, this is what I got. Um, I found some pipe. The driver coils, if you look at Stan's patents, the driver coils look like they have some sort of an iron core. So I, f I was lucky enough to find a, a pipe here that is just, it's just, it fits just right. Um, and I'm either going to do that or I've got some old uh, rolls here. These are tape rolls um, for pipe thread. Um, and these fit loose, pretty loose. You can see there, they're pretty loose. And that piece of pipe is just, it just barely won't fit on this roll, and it barely you know, fits on that pipe. So, you can see here, it just, it just doesn't quite fit. So close, but not quite. Uh, but that's the deal right now, because I can't find any plastic spools. So if you guys know where to get plastic spools at, or, or you know, just order like 10 of them or so, please let me know, because I need different size spools. But anyway, alright, that's enough of this awesome deal. That's fun to wrap. Sorry about the crappy footage I'm recording on my phone. Stay. Alright, here's the rustic spiral cell. Got this finished up last night. This thing's pretty sweet. Uh, this is something very interesting that I've designed into this. And basically, this will be totally filled with water all the way to the top. And the inlet is here. And it'll go in through those two tubes, the actual helix, and uh, come out the bottom. Yeah, I did a real bad job there bending that end, but that's just okay. But it'll come out, and what will happen is the water will, will vortex in here and, and stir all this stuff up. And then uh, come out the top inside there. And, um, can't see it, there you go, too much light. And it'll come out the top there, right out of this T. And I got a gauge here, I'm going to put on it, and uh, a few other things. But, uh, I turned these, uh, these end caps down and glued them on here. This plastic tubing, I was lucky enough, my dad, uh, had some tubing. He brought a whole bunch of these home. These are for fluorescent lights. And, uh, this stuff, this stuff's actually really, really stiff real stiff so I think it'll hold you know 10 20 psi real easy so I'm not concerned about it but um, there's that and you can just clip your alligator leads for quick testing right on here that's your voltage input and uh, also what this system will do uh, is it'll cool itself you can actually run the water coming out through a heat exchanger and cool it and as it runs through these pipes it's cooling so it's like exactly you know the opposite of a uh, of a heat exchanger. I'm cooling it. Anyway, there was that. Uh, here's a quick little core I made 
that's not done yet for the uh, that's a primary iron core fits right on this PEX uh, I tried to I actually made some end caps out of CDs I've done that before but when I wrapped this um, they fell off I didn't glue them on there it's just quick test uh, also um, all the wire I've been using is recycled it's awesome I love recycled wire it takes forever but basically, here's something out of the back of a CRT monitor. And it's got tape wrapped around it, as you can see here. Just electrical tape right there. Okay, so you can see how much electrical tape is on one. Well, I did ten of these. Uh, they're just sitting over here. I'm becoming hard to see, but I got ten of these in here, and I got to unspool all these and get them untangled. Okay, I got to untangle this mess. And uh, then I'll have 10 primaries. But I want to show you this real quick. There's my tape. Here's how much tape I took off. <laughs> 10 of those. And this thing's solid. Anyway, thought that was interesting. Um, so there's the rustic spiral cell. I'm going to have to make another unit to uh, make the water cycle in here. I was digging around. I found a, a check valve. I had taken off some old equipment. I also found an old air filter, I mean a water, to get the water out of the air line. I was thinking about using it um, as my reservoir, and then the air would come out, and the, the reservoir, the water would go out of the bottom, back into my system. Um, just some old junk. Okay, one other thing I wanted to show you real quick. A while back, when I first started my research, I built a uh, an HHO cell, and I spent... Well, heavy. I spent a lot of time on it. I'm fairly disappointed. I uh, didn't really have a good design behind this. I just slapped it together and was like, here we go. So, um, here it is. This is the uh, straight barred, um, I don't know what it's called. It's a piece of junk now. But uh, some of you remember this. And these are iron, well, I'm sorry. These are stainless steel rods. Um, you got positive negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, okay, and uh, the rails come out of the top here, and they go down the side, right through there, and they connect to each bar. Now, I put uh, put chemicals in this, and this plexiglass is about 20 years old. I got it from uh, one of my, my uh, family members. They had it laying around, and as you can see, very, very disappointed. You can see how it just shattered. Um, one probably under pressure, two because of the uh, electrolyte. But look at it! Oh, I was so mad. I spent so much time on this thing. But uh, I never did give anyone an update who was following this. Um, so I just thought I'd stick it on the end of this video. But look at that! That ain't no good. It's just broke all the way through. It did work real well though. It put out a lot. I only had one problem got a little hot that is not glue this was flush mounted at one time as you can see it's a, a it's a little nasty now this one melted too used to be straight anyway I haven't uh, haven't given an update on that I thought I'd do that real quick while I was in the mood um, this thing was building up so much pressure <laughs> that uh, this sides would push out enough to worry me so I actually put some stress bars on there you can see it's kind of bowed anyway so uh, that's it that thing pulled like 300 amps and that's why these melted and uh, it was so hot inside here that these were boiling the water uh, and the thing didn't blow up so I, I got lucky but anyway this is a long enough video I just want to give you all an update real quick show you what's going on around this uh, crazy uh, lab I got so this is Russ sign R for a little while and uh, keep an eye on me make sure I don't disappear alright um, I also want to tell a few people um, Chris Justin and Steve I want to thank you very much for uh, for your your donations towards um, my mad scientist lab but to build something better to better this world we all live in and um, that's what it's all about me, you, the world, we got to take care of it. Hopefully it doesn't destroy itself before uh, before I can get some working thing here. And uh, everybody that was in the tsunami, 
in that earthquake in uh, Tokyo, Japan, or wherever it is, and the uh, the crazy nuclear stuff. And bless all of you. It's just hard. It's been hard to watch. Um, anyway, Merry Christmas. I think. See you guys.